Hey everybody, welcome to episode two, where we get into the fuel filter, rust protection and glow plugs. And without any further ado, let's go. So this is the uh, air filter. It um, fil filters the air. Uh, and we're just gonna take it out and put the new one in. So we've just pulled the air filter out of the engine. Uh, this is what it looks like. As you can see, the old air filter is pretty, pretty manky. So we're going to put a new one in uh, and also put some anti-corrosion spray in there because it's starting to, to rust. So we're going to repaint it all black. Yeah, make it look nice um, and then put it back in the car. Right, so I'm just going to spray this. Nice even coat. I'm just applying some black underguard to the inside of the air filter to help protect against rust and corrosion. Uh, it's a bit of a bodge job, but uh, looks all right. Right, so we've given that a paint. It was completely rusty before. I know the paint job is awful, but you're not gonna see it. Um, we've also painted the inside of the filter. And we've used a clear coat on the outside. So I know it looks awful. We have given it an anti-rust clear coat. And then the top bar, we've given that a clear coat on the top and a paint on the inside. So now it's going to install the new filter. So I don't think we're going to win any awards for painting. No, but when this car runs like a beast, I hope that fits. Does it not fit? It's too long. <laughs> um, we, the air filter is a bit too long, so we're actually going to cut it down a bit. Um, yes, it's probably not the best thing to do, but we're out of options. So here we go. Here goes nothing. So I've just circumcised my air filter in the hope that it now fits into there and we can actually put the lid on. Let's hope this wasn't for nothing. Yep, it was for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> We've squeezed it in there and now it fits. Um, don't worry about the cut, it's absolutely fine. And if it doesn't work, you'll find out in a few months. Right, we've also got some copper grease here. We're going to use a little bit and put it around the thing. It's just an anti-seize. So basically, if we do need to get this open again in the future, it'll be much easier and it helps prevent rust as well. So we've got a bit of that on there. Nice bit on the paint, brilliant. We're going to get this done. Put the new air filter in now it's just a case of tightening the brackets this bracket goes around the casing for the air filter so just tighten this and it will hold it in place Right, so we're going to replace the glow plugs today. This is a fourth of them in the car, so there are four glow plugs located where, there, there and there. Um, obviously, the accessibility is going to be a bit of a problem, so we're going to take these lines off and unplug them as well. Uh, we've also went to Halfords and got a deep socket wrench, 10 millimetre, that's going to make it much easier to be able to get in these small spaces and actually take these off. Um, so we'll walk you through as we do it today, and uh, yeah. Do you want to uh, just tell them what the glow plugs are for, what they do? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> glow plugs. Glow plugs warm up the fuel for cold starts, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong, um, but that is, I think, what I think. Yeah, we'll, we'll go with that. 
Right, so I'm going to cut these off because they're holding these in there and I need to take these off to get to the glow plugs. Alright, so we've got these clips here that you use to take this out, so I'm going to unclip it quickly, squeeze in some pliers, release it, and, and yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that worked well. Um, as you can see, it's pretty difficult, we've unclipped it here, and uh, now Archie's holding it, I'm just prying it open, oh, and I think that's coolant, don't trust me though. Right, so we've managed to get this out. These pipes obviously hold coolant. Uh, they're very difficult to get out, which is a bit annoying, but um, they're out now, so we can take this out. And there you go. It's not in the best shape, so we're gonna give it a brush with a wire brush and give it a couple of new fresh paint. And as you can see in there, it's really dirty, so we might spray the hose down it and just give it a clear out. They were filthy. Oh, well, you can see all that coming out. And that's running nice and clear. So we've just been to Halfords to get a 10 mil uh, socket for this wrench. It means we can actually access the glow plugs. So I've loosened this one off a little bit already. So should. Mm, and there you go. That. That, is, that is a glow plug. I didn't even really know what to expect. It's actually a bit anticlimactic. <laughs> <laughs> and it's raining. I love England. Right, so we've got the new glow plugs. Uh, just putting some copper grease around it to make it sure it doesn't seize. Um, Archie's rationing the copper grease. <laughs> right, so we've got the copper grease on there. Uh, I think that's focusing now. And we're going to put it back in and tighten it up. But we're not going to do it too tight because from what we've seen online, you don't want to try and snap them, so just quite tight. As you can see, there's a few contaminants, like the bit of broken plastic there. Um, we're having to pull them out with a pen knife because obviously we can't screw it in. So you can probably see that. So we're going to take those bits of plastic off and put the last glow plug in. Final glow plug has been taken out. <laughs> it is actually um, quite impressive though, considering we have never been around, you know, we love cars, but as far as mechanics go, we know Jack. Um, and yeah, replacing the glow plugs, it's not, not, not hard to do. I would change the oil, that was pretty easy as well. So um, now I'm just going to stick that in there. And then if I'm correct, I turn this left. And then... Just like that, tighten it back up until it snaps. <coughs> and you're good to go. <laughs> right, so we finished all of the glow plugs. Now it's just a case of simply plugging all of these back in. However, this one is slightly damaged, so we're gonna get a replacement for it. Um, so for now, I'm just gonna cover them lightly um, so nothing gets in there, but I don't really want any more plastic and stuff going in there, so I'm just gonna leave it like that. So as you can see, the rain has kind of uh, brought an end to the activities today. We did the glow plugs, the air filter, put some rust protection spray on as well. So the fuel filter will be in the next video. Um, but if you have made it this far, well done and thank you. 